Hey guys, today we are going to discuss about video display devices. So the primary output devices in a graphic system is a video monitor. And the video monitors can be based on several designs. For example, we have the standard cathode ray design or also known as the CRT design. And there are other technologies also, for example, solid state monitors, which may eventually predominate. Now there are multiple types of video display devices. For example, first of all, we have refresh cathode ray. Then we have raster scan displays. We have random scan displays and then lastly we have color CRT monitors. Now first of all we will discuss that what is the cathode ray design that is the CRT. So now let us first discuss what is a CRT. Now CRT stands for cathode ray tube that is it is a technology which was used in traditional computers monitors and televisions. So now in the image in a CRT is created by firing electrons from the back of the tube of the phosphorus located towards the front of the screen that is by this they mean that here we have the electron gun that is this is the electron gun which shoots electrons now these electrons travel through this tube and they get deflected uh, and they hit the phosphorus which is which is applied on the back of the screen and when the uh, electrons hit this phosphorus the phosphorus dots which are present on the phosphorus they lighten up which display the colors on the screen which we are able to view so now once the electron heats up that is once the electron heats the phosphorus they light up and they project on the screen that the color we that we view on the screen is produced by a blend of red blue and green light that is rgb that is red green and blue which is present in the phosphor we will be discussing later on that what is the significance of rgb so now let us discuss the different components which are present in a crt that is in a cathode ray tube that is First of all, we will see that what is the focusing system and we have already seen what is an electron gun that is it is used to simply eject electrons. Then we will see what are vertical deflection plates. Then we have already seen that what is a phosphor phosphorus coated screen in a phosphorus coated screen phosphorus is coated at the back of the screen which consists of several phosphorus dots which lighten up when they get heated up by the electrons which hit it. And due to this the colors are projected on the screen which is a blend of red blue and green so now let us discuss the different components now the main components are the electron gun as we have already discussed the electron gun creates a source of electrons which are focused into a narrow beam directed at the face of the CRT now then we have the control electrode that is over here this is the control electrode part which is which is used to turn on the electron beam on and off so if you want to turn off the electron beam we can use the control electrode and similarly if we want to turn on the control electrode is used then we have the focusing system that is over here this is our focusing system now in a focusing system it is used to create a clear picture by focusing the electrons into a narrow beam suppose this is our electron gun and it is giving out electrons now to focus these electrons into a single beam we use the focusing system so this is used in order to create a, create a clear picture by focusing the electrons into a narrow beam. So a narrow beam is created out of this. So this is the focusing system. Then after the focusing system we have the deflection yoke. It is used to control the direction of the electron beam. That is the direction of the electron beam is controlled by the deflection yoke and it creates an electric or magnetic field which will blend the electron beam as it passes through it. Now in a conventional CRT, the yoke is linked to a sweep or a scan generator. The deflection yoke which is connected to the sweep generator creates a fluctuating electric or a magnetic field. So in simple words, what they are trying to say is that there is a deflection yoke which is used to control the direction of the electron beam. Suppose this is an electron beam and we want to control its direction that is either we want to send it upwards or downwards. Then we will use different deflection plates. So let us see in the diagram. So these, this is the horizontal deflection plate. And this is the vertical deflection plates. These are also known as the deflection yoke. So these are used to control the direction of the electron beams. For example, uh, after coming out, after the electron beam comes out of the focusing system, it gets hit by the deflection plates, and then the vertical plates gives it the direction that it needs in order to hit the uh, phosphorus coated screen at different places. So it is simply used to give direction to the electron beam. Then lastly, we have the phosphorus phosphorus coated screen. In the phosphorus coated screen, the inside of the 
surface of every crt is coated with phosphorus or phosphorus the phosphorus glow when the high energy electron beam hits them as we discussed earlier that whenever electron beam hits our phosphorus screen over here they lighten up that is and they the screen produced by a blend of red blue and green light uh, which helps us see different colors now uh, phosphorescence that is this is a term which is used to characterize the light given off by phosphorus after it has been exposed to an electron beam now suppose this is the phosphorus screen and it is it has been hit by several electron beams so now after the electron beams have hit the uh, phosphorus the uh, characteristic the light that is given off by phosphorus is uh, known as the phosphorescence so now let us discuss the other systems that is the raster scan displays and the random scan displays now in raster scan displays uh, a raster scan display displays an object as a set of discrete points across each scan line so let me explain it to you with a diagram for example consider that this is a crt that is a cathode ray tube and we have the electron gun over here this is the electron gun now this electron gun is generated and it scans each line so these are the scan lines these will be the separate scan lines which are shown in the subsequent figures so now the uh, electron beam will scan each line in an order that is it will go from top to bottom that is it will keep scanning each line and then it will create an object which will be a set of discrete points as you can see the triangle formed over here is not very even and it is formed of discrete points like this so that is what they are trying to say by this definition that a raster scan display displays an object as a set of discrete points across each scan line as we have seen what are the scan lines these black lines are the scan lines that the raster scan display will travel from top to the bottom and display our object in a set of discrete points now this is our diagram that is the framework that how our raster scan display works first of all we have the io devices and this is the system bus now people who are uh, well versed with microprocessors must know what is a system bus is and there is no need to learn the system bus in computer graphics this is only for the electrical students and the ece students now this to the system bus we have the connected we have connected the cpu that is also known as the central processing unit then here we have the display processor and we have the video controller now the video display processor is control is connected to the display processor memory and the frame buffer now the frame buffer contains the images which were previously drawn on the crt screen that is it acts as a frame buffer which means it acts as a memory storage which stores the memory of the pixels that were displayed on the screen now after that we have the video controller now in this video controller it is connected to the monitor directly which helps us display the video or the image that we are trying to display using a raster scan display system now keep in mind that the video that will be displayed over here will be at a, as a set of discrete points as we have seen from this image now let us come to the uh, second uh, system that is the random scan system now a random scan system uh, system draws the component lines of an object in any specified order now let us see uh, what we discussed above first we discussed that it follows a set of discrete points that is it will go from top to bottom in a raster scan display but whereas in a random scan display it will follow the object lines in any specified order that is that is it will not follow the specified order of going from top to bottom it may move from anywhere to anywhere in the screen or now let me explain it to you with the help of an example now suppose this is a crt and this is the electron gun now as you can see that there is no specified direction in which the uh, electron beam is going it is going in any random direction and creating a triangle that is first of all it is going over here then it is simply following the direction of the image and creating the object over here now similarly as uh, similarly it will create the object going from here to top and then back to the starting point now there is no uh, any there is no specified order in which the electron beam is moving so and here you will see that the image formed is much clearer as compared to a raster scan display earlier we had seen that a jagged lines were formed or discrete set of points were used to create an image but over here the the lines are straight and there is no need there is no uh, set of discrete points or there is no breakage between the points it forms a continuous line 
so let us see what will be the difference between two images now this is an image which will be found by a raster scan and this is an image which will be found by a random scan now you can see clearly see that which image is better or which is image has better resolution or which Im image is clearer to see now this image is pixelated by pixelated i mean that there are large pixels which is which are visible to us and we can individually identify each pixel whereas in this we are unable to identify each pixel and it looks like a smooth image to us that is uh, these are the images which are clearer to see and these images are pixelated now random obviously these random scan images are better to use that is why uh, random scan systems are much more used than raster scan systems so now this is the difference between random scan and raster scan so now let us come to the color crt now we will be discussing color crt and its different techniques or different methods which are used to create uh, used to create colored uh, cathode ray tubes in the next video so now if you are able to understand what is cathode ray what is crt or the cathode ray tube and the raster scan systems and the random scan systems then please write wow in the comment section and it would be great to know that you were able to understand it now before moving on to the next video uh, let us first discuss that what is this in the random scan displays now similarly as we had a system bus in the ra raster scan displays we also have a system bus in the random scan displays also which is connected to the io devices now the system bus is connected to the cpu which is the central processing unit and then we have the system memory and then we have the display processor which is also connected to the system bus now the display processor is connected to the monitor which displays the image or the video which we wants to display which you want to display on the computer screen now keep in mind that the image or the video that that will be displayed will have smooth lines that is it will be formed of smooth lines and there will not be any jagged lines which was in the case of raster scan displays so this is it for this video see you in the next one